I'm Chris and that's Bex and we've just purchased our very first narrow boat. Unfortunately it came with this under the floorboards that we were unaware of caused by this. Luckily we have a secret weapon in the name of the Maverick that has offered to take away this evil cylinder and bring her back. Not so evil. Guys, meet our secret weapon. Maverick. There he is. Everyone needs a friend that can fix things. We have the Maverick. Come fix, Maverick. There's a heavy load upon my back. No way to throw it all. <laughs> so we'll go. It'll be slightly bigger, it's up here. So the Maverick can fix absolutely anything. We've called upon him so many times. Jack of all trades. Always that little bit of doubt where, you know, something could might go a little bit, but it'll always get fixed. So let's wish him luck. Let's go for it. Maverick, check this out. There's a hole in the hole. What would you what would you do with that? Ask someone else. I should get a new boat. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Just keep it rolling. There's, there's gold here. <laughs> so we stumbled across this 8mm hole in our 12mm hole. Does that make sense, guys? More on that later. So off to Screw Fix to pick up our order. So the Maverick is down, guys. A little bit of confusion with the tank. It kept leaking, it couldn't be fixed. We had to get a lovely shiny new one. And this one's a big boy. Biggie. So when the time came that we ripped out the hot water tank, the Maverick gave us the option to go with a combi boiler. So off we went, we had a little think about it, did a bit of research and in the end we decided against that because we found that lots of people were saying that as continuous cruisers it's really good to have a calorifier because you can harness the energy from your engine to heat your water so it's great. kind of free hot water so to speak so we we kind of dampened the idea of putting the combi boiler in so we basically wanted to replicate what was on the boat before so we were basically taking out the older broken horrible little tank and we were changing that with a nice sparkly big bad boy new one so it should just be a case of one for one swap it over a few little niggly bits in there that might go a little bit Tipsy turvy, is that the right word? I don't know, <laughs> but we will get there in the end. Wish the Maverick luck, guys. So, let the mighty Maverick carry my lovely new tank to the boat for me. Don't tell her. This step safe. No, none of it's safe. Right, let's get her in. Okay, out the way. Let's get this job done properly, guys. <laughs> you could squeeze that, couldn't you? Your tank. Maybe we try out the back. Glides, gliding through. Problems when you get a narrow boat. I it's like crystal maze. And you want to live in it. <laughs> Don't need that. So off to B&Q for some bolts that we're missing. Borrow that. Was in all it fits. The Maverick loves bolts. No bummer. You are now. Easy. I nearly know what I'm doing. So off to B&Q again to get some more bolts that we're missing. Here we go again. Like I said, the Maverick loves bolts. Oh, 
Okay, so as you guys may have seen, we had this crater in the back room that was about eight millimeters thick. So when we came to scrape out the rust and everything in the back bedroom, we found our boat's belly button. It was pretty terrifying. I mean, after we cleared the whole hole out, all this stuff that looked very rusty, it was actually in pretty good nick down there, apart from one little area, which even the previous seller wouldn't have known about. And we've got on the phone to our marine engineer that we know who's gonna come and do a little bit of welding for us just to give it a bit of extra protection. We need a hell of a lot of extra protection for that, not just a little bit. So hopefully we'll have him down in the next few weeks and get him to re-knot our boat's belly button. Look at this, she looks lovely, fits in there perfect. Well done, Maverick. And that looks a bit rusty if you ask me. <laughs> Not a plumber. Yes, today you are a plumber. Ah! Oh. It's a bit water. Ready for it to explode on the spot. Beautiful, isn't she? Oh, she works. <laughs> Starts gushing out. Okay, so here we go. So I thought it was all going pretty well until... I've got the mood, we'll talk about it later. I don't know what's wrong. So the bottom of the tank started expanding oh. and the bloody thing came tumbling out the door. So what happened, Maverick? I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back to Screwfix and return the faulty tank and get it replaced for a non-faulty tank. Yeah. Go Maverick, go! <laughs> 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 the Maverick. So was it a faulty tank or was it a faulty Maverick? Who knows? At least we've got the bolts, eh? There's a